Hi, I'm Tyler, and uh, I was in a Def Leppard. <laughs> we can probably edit. We can probably edit that. We can probably edit that. We can probably edit that out. Hi. My name's Tyler, and when I was 13 years old, I was in a Def Leppard music video. And this is how to make it in music. Now I know what you're thinking. Where's Todd? What's Tyler doing here all by himself? Well, this is a very special episode of how to make it in music. This is gonna be the solo Tyler episode. Uh, no Todd today, folks. Uh, Todd is uh, dead. <laughs> He's not dead. No, he is actually in Europe. He's on a, a, a European trip. And he told me uh, that I could actually run today's, uh, this week's episode. Tevin, when you edit this video, add, um, like, if you added, like, applause, like, fake applause, after I said that joke about Todd being dead, I feel like that would, uh, I feel like that would be really good like the audience would like that. So if you watched last week's episode, you're probably wondering why I'm even back on the show to begin with. Um, and you know, I, I wanna just make a couple of things really clear here. Um, th this show is a professionally run, um, well thought out show. And Todd at times may do things that you and I, we, we might, uh, not get what he's trying to do, right? But but there's a lot of genius going going around in his head, and uh, sometimes when he does things that we don't understand, like uh, like when he hits me or, or when he calls me mean names or spreads rumors about about me, it's really just his way of uh, bringing a little bit of that creative spark to what we do here. So. Uh, Todd and I talked about this quite a bit, and he thought um, that he felt bad that I maybe misinterpreted some of the ways he was treating me, and he offered me um, an opportunity to film today's episode as a kind of like an olive branch, you know, something between us that is going to be like, a, hey, Ty, I, I trust you, and I believe in you, and I think you can do this kind of moment. So here we have it, my, my own episode of how to make it in music, and I couldn't be more excited to uh, dive into today's topic with you. Um, it's going to be a little bit different kind of show, I think it's safe to say, and I'm sure you are seeing that for yourself already. Uh, I don't have the camera equipment that we normally use, and I'm filming it all by myself, uh, but Tevin's going to do an, uh, a, his normal uh, good editing job, and um, I think we're not going to have any real problems or anything uh, when it comes to the quality of today's episode. In fact, you may not even notice a difference um, when you watch. I can picture everybody watching this video right now, screaming at their computer, Tyler, Tyler, tell us what the theme of the episode is. Uh, I think I've kept you in suspense long enough. Uh, today, we are going to count down the top five favorite musical artists of the show, How to Make It in Music. This is our official list, top five favorite artists of all time. And these are the artists that we are endorsing uh, when it comes to uh, what they've really um, brought to music and, and how they've delighted us all through the years. So with no more further ado, let's start with number five. And then maybe we could put like a graphic here. That's number five. And then it has their name. Number five. Okay. Number five. Well, this one shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who watches the show, but our fifth favorite artist of all time is Def Leppard. Now, for those of you who have caught up on our series here, you know that I was actually in a Def Leppard music video when I was 13 years old. It was the song called Now. And uh, that song, along with many other classic hits, uh, like uh, Pour Some Sugar On Me and Come Sail Away, um, just a few of the songs that Def Leppard has brought to us uh, over the last few uh, years. And we're, we're happy to call them our fifth favorite artist of all time. Congratulations, Def Leppard. And maybe you could put like a graphic up that says number four. Um, okay. Uh, number four, Coldplay. 
I was like to do the world. Da -da 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 -da. That one. And we like pretty much most of their songs a lot. So number four on our list, Coldplay. Number three. Okay. Our third favorite band of all time is J-Lo's halftime show this year. Now I know this list is controversial, right? Because that's not even technically an, an artist. I mean, J-Lo is an artist um, uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, she's a judge and a singer and a dancer. Uh, but I understand that the performance itself isn't technically its own artist. Uh, but this halftime show performance was so good and so mind-blowing that we felt like it wouldn't make sense to not put it on this list. So, um, technically an artist or not, the third best musical artist ever, according to us, is uh, J-Lo at the halftime show. She did it with, um, another, uh, uh, woman and it was, um... And it's our third favorite uh, band of all time. Number two. Okay, we're here at the home stretch now, folks. Only two left. I know you're just freaking out trying to figure out who they are. Um, our second favorite artist of all time, uh, musical artist of all time, is uh, Destiny's Child, uh, a super group from the early 2000s featuring the queen herself, Beyonce. Destiny's Child undeniably changed the childhoods of many boys and girls across the United States. And we wouldn't be uh, where we are today without their musical influences. So Destiny's Child, number two. And the, uh, okay, and then we'll do uh, like, do a graphic, number one. And this one's maybe gold. And the other ones, maybe they were all um, blue. So number one, and then, okay. Number one, that's right. We finally made it to the end of our list. And our first favorite musical artist of all time is the queen herself, Beyonce, or as real fans call her, Yonce. What can I say about Beyonce that hasn't already been said? I mean, she is a musician. She is a singer. She is an, a musical artist. She has done it all, folks. And now she's done the most difficult thing of her career. She's made it to the top of our list. So congratulations to Beyonce and to all of our other top five favorite artists of all time. Uh, congratulations again. Well, there you have it, folks. How to Make It In Music's top five favorite musical artists of all time. What a wild ride it's been. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. And if you enjoyed seeing me um, doing my thing in front of the camera, uh, let Todd know. Um, and let, uh, uh, and, and say nice things about me in the comments and, um, oh, and, um, and also, yeah. And also actually I wanted to say, um, I actually wanted to also say, uh, don't stop saying, stop saying mean things in the comments because Todd, it, uh, it freaks him out and gets really upset. And, uh, I know that he, he's got a lot of brilliance up there and that sometimes it comes out in weird ways, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it's healthy, um, how, upset he gets when he sees the bad comments. So let's not do the bad, let's not do the bad comments. So as much. So. Again, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to reach for the stars.